All right. Let me get my ass ready. Anyway, sorry about that. But <sighs> I'm just tired. Well, my phone bill got caught off, so I have to wait until my mom pays it. So I'm not gonna probably upload this video until you know, probably tomorrow, probably. Uh, anyway, story time. Well, you guys understand that my, the background is fucked up, and basically, you know, this camera's not good, and people think I look stupid. <laughs> so. Well, this is a little bit, you know, story time. If basically, if you don't know, guys, I have a girlfriend. Basically, she's a nice person, gentle person. Um, she really appreciates me and basically, basically understands me. But I'm going to tell you a story about, you know, how I have to live through, um, God. Shall I say it? A baby. I know how people going to be like, oh, well, should I hear this story? It's not my problem. Well, if you just don't want to hear it, then get the fuck out of this video and click somewhere else. Because basically, this is not for you, you little dick sucker. Basically, the negative comments surrounding that. Oh, shit. Oh. Wait. Okay, good. Sorry. I'm sorry. But let me get to the story. Oh, God. I'm hearing noises in the background. So let me get to the story real quick. So, if you guys don't know, I have a, a daughter. Some, some of you guys know. Her name is Eileen. She's a little adorable little baby. Well, she's a little adorable baby. Let's just say that. And let's just say she was born around the 8th of March 2018, which was last year, at um, St. Anthony's Hospital, which is in Chicago. You, you know, some people don't know because some people don't live over here or live in Chicago. But if you don't, yeah, it's a hospital, you know, she gave birth at, and, and let's just say she looked really great. She looked great for some reason, which was fucking weird. Um, but yeah, but like, after that experience, you know, I was, you know, nervous as always. You know, a kid is fucking hard because you have to waste your time and money, your effort, you gotta try. You gotta go to therapy and all that crap. I don't want to get the details and what the hell I mean, but... Basically, me and Maria, me and my girlfriend were basically doing this shit 24-7. Basically, if she cried, she did. And if she cried, I go. Basically, we took turns basically every fucking time. You know, I, we both changed the diaper. She took her a shower, obviously, because it's fucking weird. Because, you know, I'm a dad and she's the, and my, our baby's a girl. So, it would be fucking weird if I did it anyway. And if you ever did that to your um, daughter, you just... Uh, just the weird fucking that in general. Um, but anyway. Yeah. And basically it was really hard for my girlfriend. Because she had her stitches in her stomach. And basically it was really hard for her to get up. Sometimes I never helped her. Because you know I was sleeping. <laughs> Sorry. But usually I always helped her. And you know usually it just. It was hard because. Because usually I was really. I was really like weak. I was going to say she was heavy. But she was not heavy. I was really weak in my, um, I was really weak when I woke up, so basically I couldn't pick her up as often as I wanted to, but it was, it was like, you help her or she's mad at you or her mom's mad at you. If you guys didn't know, you guys don't know actually, what the fuck am I saying? She, I lived with her and her family for the past few months. Let's just say... Nah, let me no, don't let me give him details because Maria's gonna watch this and she's gonna be like, Oh, okay, this is how you feel. But it was good living over there, but they always got mad at me because I didn't work. And I understand that God just looking at me in this fucking camera, I look like a fucking caveman. Holy crap, I have a big ass forehead, too. Holy shit, uh, anyway, enough in the details. Basically, her family always got mad at me because I didn't work, you know, basically, you know. I don't care. I'm, I'm just, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. But, yeah, and basically me and her took her, um, care of her. And she was really hard. Eileen was just like her mom. She had no things of mine whatsoever. She only looks like me, but she, she's more like her mom. I have a fat ass nose. Look at my fucking nose! Anyway, but... Yeah, basically, Eileen was, she's, she's a nice baby, just like her mom. 
My girlfriend and Eileen are the only things that matter to me. You know, even my family, but... They're the only things that matter. Basically, in my life. If they don't matter to you, well, go fuck yourself. And... Yeah, I did a video. If you guys don't know, I deleted a video about me talking about a girlfriend's ex and shit. And... <laughs> You know, I'm not gonna get into details on that one either because, you know, obvious. He lives where I almost live at, so basically, I'm not gonna tell you where I live at because he's gonna look at this and gonna be like, oh, guess where he lives at, dumbass. I'm not gonna tell nobody where I live at because it's obvious. I don't want nobody know where I live. But yeah, that's a little bit, that's like a quick story. I'm not gonna, you know, drag the story on any longer because, you know, you know, I forgot the details already on, you know, basically all the things that happened. But if you guys want more stories, you can let me know.